It began as a normal shift for Constable Natasha McClellan of 3 District Patrol. She didn't know in just a few short hours her life and the lives of two civilians would be on the line. On November 29, 2013, ultralight pilot Hans Hammond spent most of his day trying to repair a problem that was causing the plane engine to overheat. He made several flights throughout the day to test his repairs and left for his last flight about 4 p.m. from Baldwin Airport in the town of Georgina. As the aircraft reached 200 feet, the engine suddenly failed. The plane banked, lost lift, and plummeted into the thickly forested area beneath it. As the plane crashed through the forest canopy, tree branches ripped the port wing from the fuselage. The aircraft continued to plunge to the forest floor, finally coming to rest in the trees in the thick underbrush. Constable McClellan was first on scene and immediately detected the odor of gasoline. She was met by Roy Alton, another pilot at Baldwin Airport and a former volunteer firefighter. They found the entire area soaked in gasoline and fuel-soaked leaves and dirt stuck to Constable McClellan's boots as she approached the plane. The plane was canted at a 45-degree angle and she discovered the fuel tank behind the pilot's seat and another in the fuselage had ruptured on impact and both were rapidly spilling gas. She urgently approached the pilot and found Mr. Harmon too was covered in fuel. He was conscious but disoriented, his left arm trapped in his safety harness. She learned the engine was having overheating issues earlier that day and quickly took stock of her options. She realized they were in the middle of a potentially explosive cloud of fumes. The slightest spark could mean catastrophic results for all of them. The port wing was still dangling in the trees above them, and the pilot's safety harness was damaged beyond repair and could not be opened. Their desperate attempts to pry back the cockpit plexiglass failed as well, as it was too slippery and covered in fuel. Despite the fact Mr. Hammond's injuries were still undetermined, Constable McClellan knew simply remaining with him until help arrived was not an option. Enlisting the help of Mr. Alton, she lifted Mr. Hammond's torso to relieve stress on the harness while Mr. Alton reached inside the cockpit and removed it. Paramedics stepped in, transporting Mr. Hammond to the hospital, while the Georgina Fire Department then mitigated the fire and explosion hazard. Constable McClellan, soaked and reeking of fuel, followed the ambulance to the hospital where Mr. Hammond began to realize the magnitude of his situation. Thankfully, he suffered only minor injuries. To be like on this gasoline, in and around the, all this fuel, stay there and, uh, and assist this person out, it was, uh, it was really cool. She did a really, uh, a really, really great job. I told her so too, I thought that was just uh, magnificent. Uh, it is, uh, hundreds of thousands of hours of flying come in. Uh, occasionally uh, there's the odd incident, but uh, it's extremely safe and enjoyable uh, activity. Constable McClellan averted tragedy by her quick thinking and brave actions and with the assistance of Mr. Alton. Understanding the potential peril of their situation, she risked her own life for another and is truly deserving of the Garrett Styles Bravery in the Line of Duty Award.